What's up guys, it's Wasabi and I'm back with another review. Konami sent me this unique piece to share with you and what they are about. Thank you Konami. But as always with the content on this channel, these are my thoughts, personal opinions and experiences with the product. Now here's a quick look at the packaging because that's what you pay for too. Packaging with this mouse pad is pretty simple. The box has a mouse pad design on it and inside you got a whole lot of stickers and a thank you card. And that's pretty much all that's included inside the box. Now before we go any further, let's manage some expectations here real quick. This review is gonna be a little different from what I normally do and you'll understand why in a bit. Konami is a small brand still very young and this is their second glass pad to my knowledge and all their releases have been limited edition drops so far. So they explained to me about their brand and what they want to be known as which is for their collaborative designs with talented artists to create collection pieces and not so much of material development to create the ultimate gaming glass pad. Each release will have a unique artwork specially designed for the collaboration so the art is unique to the collab and not a copy pasta from the artist portfolio. The design of this one that we have today is done by a Japanese artist who goes by the name of Wataboku. I did my research, looked into the artist's history, portfolio and past exhibitions and his work is pretty fantastic in my opinion. The piece that we have today is known as a Konami Sai, Konami being the brand and Sai which is the name of the character that the artist Wataboku created. Only 999 pieces of this glass pad will be made and will be available for purchase on the 1st of August. Unfortunately, I have not received information on the final price and drop timing but I will add it to the description as soon as I do or you can follow me or Konami on Twitter for updates. So I've heard that people at Konami are big fans of Wataboku's work. Quite a lot of people are. The artist has a big following, much bigger than my channel. So Konami and Wataboku worked together and decided on having this broken glass detail in the design because after all this is a glass pad and I think think it's a very nice play with the concept of glass. The art features one of the characters the artist created and the blues and purple colors of the art is a favorite of the Konami brand. Now what makes this piece even more unique is with the little details. You'll notice that the Konami branding and the name of the artist in the bottom of the mouse pad is in a handwritten form. They explained to me that this is to not distract the attention away from the art itself and I think it's a nice thought and makes it look more like an art piece. What's interesting is that they even created a font for the numbers using the artist's handwriting. So every pad is individually numbered and having the artist's handwritten font just makes it so much more special. In my opinion, it's a very good balance of both the brand and the artist's input in this collaboration piece which is very well done. This pad has a size of 490 by 420 with a thickness of 3 millimeters, and so it's plenty big enough for most mouse sensitivities. If you plan to use this pad, just make sure your desk has enough space for it. You can get away with cloth pads leaning off the edge but for glass I wouldn't recommend it. The artist's name is Wataboku which is a combination of the Japanese word watashi which means I and boku which means boku. Here's a brief look at some of his past work and art style on his website. If this is a glass pad you're interested in I would strongly encourage you to find out more about the artist and check out his work and I'll leave links to his twitter and website in the description below. Very impressive talent really. The most I can draw is Almost done there. Not bad, huh? The coated surface is very smooth and I was informed that it's a new coating over their previous release. There's barely any texture against your skin or under the skates. It's super smooth. With all glass pads, I would recommend to use skates that are specially designed for that use and please do not use glass skates on glass pads because you'll damage the coating. This pad is supported with its thick silicone base and makes it feel strong but it still is glass so just be careful if you have to move it around and avoid placing hard or heavy objects on the surface. This release has a white silicone base that's unique to this pad. I'm not sure if they'll continue using this base for future releases but it grips to my desk wonderfully well and has nice attention to detail for the base design. It does smell funky when you first take it out of the box but it goes away after some time. Now here's a quick sound test to give you a better idea of the texture and smoothness of the glass coating.
Glass pads in general, consistency is known to be the best and humidity doesn't get into it. But in humid environments like with most pads, is when your skin with sweat and humidity gets clingy to the surface and gets in the way of smooth arm movement. And with my experience with this pad, it's no different. My concern with coated pads is its durability and it's sort of a grey area with that because brands can't give you an accurate measurement unlike battery life at constant motion for example. Surface coating durability varies from gamer to gamer depending on the whole lot of factors, the skates, how often you use the pad, and how intense as well, there's currently no standard industry test that brands follow for now. But so far, with my experience using this pad for gaming and as a daily driver, there's been no problems at all. So how's the experience for gaming? Well, it's a little too smooth and fast for my liking when it comes to gaming because I play a mix of both Overwatch 2 and Valorant, but I know that there are gamers who enjoy ridiculously smooth glides on glass. It feels fast even with my Obsidian Pro air skates which are designed to give a lot of control on glass but here on this pad it makes the skates feel like speed skates. I can't say it's a bad thing though, if you have a preference for speed and smooth glides you should feel right at home using this pad. With all pads it's really just a matter of getting a hang of it. So if the design of this pad strongly appeals to you and you want to use it as your main, I don't see why not. But um, I feel like it's a little too precious to use for gaming. Personally if I want to use a glass pad for gaming, I'd take more interest in using pads that are specially designed developed for that purpose. This one feels more of a piece to collect. It comes off very special and I can fully appreciate the thoughts and ideas between the artist and the brand to create the art for this collaboration. With my time testing different mice on this surface, sensors have been tracking just fine, really no problems with my experience. So final thoughts and what I think of its value, well this is something that you buy if you enjoy the design or appreciate for the artist behind it. And it looks really nice if you put it on display or hang it up on the wall. I have my own preferences for how glass Glass pads feel for gaming based on the games that I play, but of course just because the speed and control is not within my comfort zone does not make it a bad glass pad. You can use it for gaming no problem at all. You got a super grippy silicone base, a very smooth surface and a unique artwork with this pad. But after all, what they want their brand to be known for is their unique collaborative works with renowned artists and with this piece, it does just that. Whether you're a gamer or someone who just appreciates art and design, this is a nice piece to check out. Nice attention to detail with the artwork so really the design and the thought put into it is where the value is at. Because of what the brand is set out to do, I don't have much to pick on it when it comes to gaming, it just wouldn't make sense to. I'm fine with sharing this one with you guys because I'm aware that quite a few of you can appreciate art and design, and not all of the artist followers are gamers, so I thought it would be a good idea to share about its practical use. I do have two recommendations though. I would like to see them put the thank you cards, stickers, and the little items in an envelope because for collection pieces, present Presentation is just as important as the design of the pad, and mine came in a crumpled mess, and this is the last thing you want to see for any collectible. I might have just been unlucky, but you know, just a suggestion to improve the presentation and experience as a whole for limited edition products in general. And I would suggest a website with details about the surface, its base, and things that makes this piece unique. Maybe some background about the artist, his inspiration, and ideas for the collab work, because at this point in time, this is all you'll see on the website. This is not the website, by the way, it's just a basic example I put together while taking a break from editing. You know, it could even have a timeline of the collaboration from start to finish. That would be very nice to see. Simple stuff. For limited collab products like this, the website is a big part of the buyer experience, not just for gamers, but also for the artists, followers, and fans who enjoy their work and want to know more about the collaboration. Now, these are just little things which I feel can help people to understand and appreciate the collaboration and get people curious about the next. And of course, for my viewers, if you have any ideas or artists you would like to see Konami collab with, feel free to put it in the comments below. I have some good news. They mentioned they would like to collaborate with me to do a giveaway and most probably it will be on Twitter. Thought it would be nice to put it out here for you guys because it wouldn't be fair if I just shared it on Twitter and left out you guys who have been supporting my channel. I have a small following of very nice people on Twitter which I must say I'm very grateful for and if you think about it with the number of followers that I have, it's not a difficult giveaway to win. Lucky you. The giveaway might be their previous limited edition pad, but most likely it will be this one. So if you're interested to win this pad, well, not the one that I opened, but a brand new one, follow me on Twitter for now and I'll leave a link in the description below. That's where we'll announce more details for the giveaway. Probably you'll see something like this little poster I put together. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful in any way, please leave a like and subscribe to support the channel and I guess I'll see you in the next one.